God, thank you for this day, and thank you for bringing us all here together. Please help us to go into this week refreshed with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, Pastor Matt. Hey, Pastor Melanie, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I was just uh, just enjoying the, the beauty of God's creation, and then I was, I was getting lost in God's word, and... Uh, I was thinking. Sounds great. Sounds like an awesome summer. It's been a great summer so far. I, did I tell you though, like one of my favorite things to do during the summertime? What is it? Well, it's playing games. Playing games. Let's play a game. I definitely want to play a game. Okay, what? so we played hide and go seek. Yep. That went eh, not so good. It went great, I thought. Got lost in creation. Yeah. And then we played bananagrams. <laughs> Nailed it. That was so fun. Was but then we got lost in God's word. Ooh, that's right. Yes. How about we play the game of life? Yeah, no way we're gonna get lost in that. Oh one. no, <laughs> we it's got gonna be this. great. Nailed it. Yeah. I am so excited about life. Brought to you by Milton Bradley. The game of life. <laughs> Plan a family game night. Uh, oh. Oh, let's let's uh, play. Let's see what's in it. Um, let's see. Oh, there's directions. Directions. Oh, we don't need those. Um, let's start setting spinning. it up. Ooh, Check out the spinning. Thing. Oh, look at all this. Look at this money. We're like rich. Whoa, like whoa. Money. Easy there. Easy there. Um, yeah. Hey, what's this oh, right here? What's this oh, right here? Career cards. Oh, let's see what kind of careers uh, that we could have. Ooh. I um, uh, Let's see here. Uh, what do you have? Salesperson. I could I could be salesperson. I like I mean, like, that'd be fun. Yes. How about this? Ooh, an athlete. Yeah. I could be an athlete. You I are. Could, I could play tennis like the lady on here or baseball. I could take it up. You I could, could learn you could it. Certainly, you could certainly do that. Oh, yeah. here, teacher. I, I teach I teach all the time. I'm yeah. always teaching. Yeah. How about this? What? Accountants. Numbers are numbers, a dram. Numbers. Numbers. Could you do that? Yeah. Yeah, you'd be good. Yeah, at yeah. of course. Uh, oh, entertainer. This guy's got a guitar and a country hat. Mm -hmm. Nice. I could do that. I play. I have, I have some gifts for all of these things so far. Yeah. How about police officer? I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Perfect. I would definitely pull over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, computer consultant. I know nothing about computers. Yeah. But yeah, sounds fun. Right, but you, but you do have a lot of these gifts, though. I, I mean, do. A lot. I do. I have one. a computer. Hey, yeah. Listen, this is what I got here. I got a uh, doctor. I, I, I do a lot of like healing kinds of things. You know, yes. all, all the time. The other day, you put a bandaid on me. I put a bandaid on myself today. Yes. I'm a doctor. I've got yeah. gifts for that too. How about too. this? What? Artist. You. I can paint. You do paint. I do paint. How crazy is that? See, like, I gotta tell you, like, we we have a lot of these gifts already. You have a yes. lot of those gifts. Yes. I have a lot of these gifts. Like, that's a lot of gifts from God. It is. Man. You know, in, instead of playing life, let's just think about all the gifts that God has given us. Man, that could be really fun just to really kind of think about all the crazy gifts. I mean, it's not just yeah. things we can do, but like, you know, it's like our, our kids and our, our family and all, all our health. It's just, it's really great. I got I can doctor. Yes. Well, I I think that's going to be way more fun than uh, playing life. I mean, this this is a fun spinner though. You think we can still use the spinner? Of course. Just see which one goes next. Yes. All right, let's do it. Let's get lost in God's gifts. Jesus, wherever he will lead me. 
the darkness, follow his lead and light it up. And now it's time for the memory first. Hey, it's time for the memory first. I'm Jacqueline, and I'm here with my two cousins. Hi, my name is Claire. Hi, my name is Colin. Today we will be doing the memory first. Psalms chapter 118, verse 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. And be glad in it. Bye. Bye. Hi, friends. This is Pastor Melody, and I'm here to share pastor time with you. Do you like presents? I sure do. I love gifts. Well, God has given me some amazing gifts I want to share with you today. God has given me a church home. Let's put that in there. God has given me a great family. Let's see, let's put that in here. Um, oh, God has given me the gift of grace. This is love, and God loves me unconditionally. Let's put that in my presence. Oh, God has also given me a great home to live in. That is such a wonderful gift. And I have all these amazing gifts and more from God. But sometimes in my life, I get too busy. Let's see, sometimes, oh, when I have to mow the lawn. Sometimes I don't appreciate the nice house that I live in, and I kind of push my gift to the side. Oh, and sometimes, oh, when people are mean or I'm just frustrated, I don't think about God's gift of grace. Oh, and see what else we have here. Oh, my gift of family. I love my family, but sometimes when we're on vacation and we're in the car for a long, long time, I just want to run away. But they are such a precious gift from God. And then sometimes I forget about my church family you know, when I'm on vacation a lot or have soccer or tournaments, sometimes I forget about the people that love me at church. Sometimes when life gets busy, I forget about all those wonderful gifts from God.
Hey everyone, it's Miss Kate. I'm so excited to be here with you today to talk about getting lost in God's gifts. All of us need the reminder that God's gifts are all around us all the time. That's right, even grown-ups like me need to be reminded from time to time that God has given me so many gifts each and every day. The gifts that God gives us are called blessings. And I think sometimes we forget that the blessings God gives us are gifts because God doesn't wrap them up and hand them to us like this. Pastor Melody helped us to remember some of the awesome gifts that God blesses us with every day, like our homes and families to take care of us, our church and church family, and the unconditional love of God. Have you ever noticed that some days it's easier to see and remember the gifts that God gives you? Like when you're having a great day or something fun and exciting happens, or when you're in a good mood with a huge smile on your face. But then other times, it can be really hard to see and remember the gifts that God gives you. Like when you're having a bad day and maybe feeling kind of grumpy. Or when you're super busy. Or when something sad happens. Sometimes on those bad, sad, and hard days, we get so down that we can't see and remember that God is still showering us with his love and blessing us with gifts. In our Bible story today, we're going to learn about a guy named Joseph. And Joseph had a lot of bad, sad, and hard days. Y'all are not going to believe all of the crazy things that happened to Joseph. Joseph had every reason to feel down and to give up, but that's not what Joseph did. He chose to see and remember the gifts that God gave him. Check out this video and then I'll be back so we can talk more about it. God's story, Joseph. So part of God's story is about a guy named Joseph and it begins like this. Once there was a guy named Joseph who had 10 older brothers and one younger one. When Joe was a boy, he was his dad's favorite. In fact, his dad liked him so much better than his brothers that he gave Joe a special gift to prove it. You can imagine this made his brothers jealous. And Joe only made things worse. He told his brothers about dreams he had where he was ruling over them. Well, this made Joe's brothers furious. One day they were working and saw Joe coming. They said, here comes that dreamer. They threw Joe into a dark pit. They might have left him there forever, but they met some men traveling from Egypt and sold Joe to them as a servant instead. They thought that was slightly nicer than leaving him in a pit. Then they went home and told their father Joe had been killed by a wild animal. This broke their dad's heart. Kids, these brothers were really bad news. Selling a sibling is never a good idea, ever. But the Bible says the Lord was with Joe. When Joe was a servant, he worked for a really important rich guy named Potiphar. And Potiphar liked Joe so much, he put him in charge of the whole house. Joe was happy until one day he was blamed for something he didn't do, and Potiphar sent him straight to jail. Well, God was still with Joe, even in prison. The guard decided he liked Joe so much, he put him in charge of all the other prisoners. Then God gave Joe special knowledge about dreams. When two prisoners had dreams, Joe knew what they meant, so he told them. Two years later, Egypt's ruler called Pharaoh had a dream, and nobody knew what it meant. But by now, one of the two prisoners Joe had helped was out of jail and working for Pharaoh. He told Pharaoh about Joe, and God helped Joe figure out what Pharaoh's dream meant. But Pharaoh's dream was really more of a nightmare. It meant that everybody in Egypt would have food for seven years, then be hungry for seven years. Joe told Pharaoh the only way to survive was to store food during the seven good years. Well, Pharaoh thought Joe's idea was brilliant. He put him in charge. During the seven hungry years, nobody could eat without getting food from Joe. He was like a human vending machine. 
Well, remember how Joe had 11 brothers? Like everybody else, they had to get food from Joe. And when they came, they didn't even recognize their brother. But Joe knew who they were. He secretly tested them to see if they changed. After all, they did throw him in a pit and sell him. Finally, he couldn't hide who he was from his brothers anymore. He told everyone to leave the room because he was about to cry. After sobbing for a few minutes, he told them, I'm your brother, Joseph. I'm the one you sold. The brothers couldn't believe it. They had hurt Joe, but God had taken care of him during the good times and the bad. Even with everything they had done to Joe, he forgave them because he was willing to follow God, even when it was hard. Joe told them, you plan to harm me, but God planned it for good. And God used Joe to save many lives, including the family that was part of God's special rescue plan. And that's the story of Joseph. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Joe was his dad's favorite. His brother sold him. Potiphar put Joe in charge. Joe was sent to jail. The guard put Joe in charge. Pharaoh had a bad dream. Joe told him what it meant. Pharaoh put Joe in charge. Joe's brothers had to come to him for food. Joe forgave them. This was part of God's rescue plan. And that's a part of God's story. Wow. Whew. Poor Joseph went through a lot of bad, sad, and hard times. I mean, whew. I've never been thrown in a pit before. Have you? And I had a big brother growing up who was sometimes mean to me but he never sold me to somebody who lived in another country. And I've never had to work as a servant before. And I've been blamed and even punished for something I didn't do, but I think my punishment was maybe I lost TV or had to go to my room. Joseph had to go to jail. Through all the struggles that Joseph faced, Joseph remembered that God was with him and that God loved him. And because of that, Joseph was able to do two really cool and special things. First, even when it seemed like Joseph had absolutely nothing, Joseph was able to see and remember the gifts that God gave him. And second, Joseph was able to find some good in every bad situation he faced. And guess what? God is always with you and God loves you. So the next time that you're going through a bad, sad, or hard time, remember to be like Joseph. Because even on our hardest days, we can find some good and see God's blessings if we look hard enough. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for joining us this week on Christ Kids TV.